it also starts with fake money. So in 1971, the U.S. dollar became fake. See, the purpose of the central bank or the Fed or all, you know, the, the Japanese, bank, the Bank of Japan or the, the European Central Bank, they pump out fake money. Mm -hmm. The purpose of central banks like the Fed is to protect the banks, yeah. not you. In case you missed it, signs are pointing to a recession in the not-so-distant future. According to NASDAQ, if inflation levels stayed the same as their current rate for the next 10 years, the dollar's worth would slip by 50%. In short, your cash is losing value every day. In this video, I'll cover 10 different investments that are better than hoarding cash under your mattress and how you can save your finances. And stick around to the end of the video for the most lavish investment on this list. First up is the never glamorous but always safe high yield savings account. A high yield savings account pays you interest on your cash balance. It keeps your money readily accessible and you can shop around for the best rates. Make sure to check out online savings accounts too, since they have lower overhead costs and can typically earn higher interest rates than brick and mortar banks. High yield savings accounts are perfect for investors who want the lowest risk possible, but still want to have quick and easy access to their money in the near future. Certificates of deposits, also known as CDs, are federally insured time deposits with specific maturity dates and higher interest rates than savings accounts. Maturity dates can range from weeks to several years and because these are time-dependent deposits, you cannot withdraw your money early without paying the penalty. When you open a CD, your financial institution pays interest at regular intervals, and when your CD matures, you get your original principal back plus any accrued interest. Again, you can shop around for the best rates. CDs are great for risk-averse investors who can tie up their cash for a specific time. Given the rise in interest rates, it's wise to stick to short-term CDs now so you can reinvest at higher rates soon. If you are less risk-averse and looking to achieve higher returns, you may want to consider investing in an S&P 500 index fund. The fund is based on about 500 of the most prominent American companies like Amazon and Berkshire Hathaway. It offers immediate diversification and includes companies from every industry, making it a resilient option. Historically, the index has returned about 10% annually. This is an excellent choice for any investor who can sustain a bit of risk and keep their money invested for at least three to five years. Like short-term CDs, government bonds are low-risk investments. U.S. government bonds are mutual funds or ETFs that invest in debt securities issued by the U.S. government and its agencies. The funds are invested in securities like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Because interest rate risk is more significant for long-term bonds, it is a good idea to choose short-term bonds right now since they will feel a minimal impact from rising rates. A fixed annuity is a type of contract that provides a guaranteed return on contributions you make as a lump sum or over a set period. According to Matthew Gaffey, a managing partner at Corbett Road Wealth Management, the best client-friendly way I've heard a fixed annuity described, it is a supercharged certificate of deposit. In a fixed annuity, you decide your amount of contributions, and the annuity company promises you a guaranteed minimum return. Investors can receive annuity payments in regular payments or a lump sum. This is an incredibly safe investment for people who can wait many years for returns. A few things to consider. While fixed annuities avoid market losses, they don't share in market gains. Guaranteed returns eventually end, and inflation could hurt your returns. Remaining in the realm of the stock market, Let's look at the dividend stock funds. These funds keep your investments a little safer because they pay portions of a company's profit to stakeholders, usually quarterly. Dividend stocks allow investors to earn through long-term market appreciation and short-term cash. These are suitable investments for folks who can stay invested for more extended periods and are looking for income on a short-term basis. Dividend stocks are considered safer than growth stocks or other non-dividend stocks, but you can also buy them in groups in a stock fund to further reduce risk. If you are looking for individual stocks to invest in that are much safer than cash, you should look to utility stocks. Companies that provide water, gas, and electricity are generally inelastic. People will always need these items, regardless of the state of inflation or the economy. Avoid companies directly tied to the commodities, so you aren't exposed to the fluctuations of these materials. Instead, Look to the stocks that are involved in the delivery of those commodities. Many of these stocks pay dividends, and though they are not as high as other payouts, they are incredibly consistent. Besides the S&P 500, another safe index fund is the NASDAQ 100. This provides investments in some of the biggest and best-performing tech companies, including Apple, 
Meta Platforms, and Microsoft. Because any tech stock is considered high risk, this investment is best for folks looking to grow their wealth over several years and willing to deal with high volatility. All right, let's look at more tangible, material investments for a minute. Real estate has long been considered a safe and wise investment that holds long-term value. But a specific type of real estate investment may be the best option. Rental housing is an excellent investment if you're willing to manage your properties and deal with a few maintenance issues. If you can hold this asset over time, rental housing allows you to pay down debt, grow your rental profits, and have access to serious cash flow when you're ready to retire from the game. Rental housing is best left to people who don't mind a bit of work for access to steady income, can handle a lack of liquidity, and can ride the ups and downs of the real estate market. Speaking of physical assets, none to shine quite like gold. While gold doesn't offer the same returns as stocks, it can provide relief from inflation. Because gold's value is derived from its scarcity and long history as a stable medium of exchange, it tends to hold its value even in a recession. Many experts point out that it is one of only three things to do so. The other two? Masterwork paintings and architecturally significant mansions. As a result, gold is a safe haven investment, meaning that when stock prices fall, gold prices tend to rise. You can purchase gold through ETFs like the Van Eck Vectors Gold Miners ETF, known as the GDX, or you can buy physical gold from your local bank if you're okay with a non-liquid investment. If you ever wondered why this stupid shiny metal is so expensive, you're not alone. That's why I made a great video explaining the entire history of gold as a currency, so be sure to check that out. Click the video right here on your screen, and I'll see you there.